The other license um, that I think is interesting, I mean, there are 12, but I've narrowed it down to the five that I feel are the most interesting um, and the most viable um, is the nursery license. What makes a nursery license unique uh, is that a nursery license is basically like owning a floor shop. Um, allows you to sell clones, uh, rooted plants, um, seeds, and products that basically support uh, growing um, cannabis. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you're housing uh, 20 to 30 mothers um, of various genetics. Um, you're basically catering to growers um, that are looking for uh, really good genetics uh, for customers that eventually they plan on selling to. Um, it, it, a lot, it also eliminates a lot of extra work for a grower to have to carry clones and starter plants where they actually have to build out uh, an extra room. It makes it easier for a grower to show up to the nursery and say, hey, I need 50 uh, rooted uh, OG Kush plants uh, for my grow. Um, do you have any? And basically just walk out with you know, some rooted, uh, some rooted plants that you can just drop in a pot and uh, have them, you know, start growing. Um, because the cloning process is somewhat tedious, somewhat uncertain, um, and it kind of eliminates uh, a little stress level for a lot of growers uh, to not have to kind of worry about that. Um, and it's a, actually a very good service because a lot of clones, depending on the, the strains and the maturity level, um, can go for anywhere between 10 to $50. If you have a thousand square foot space, you can probably hold anywhere between a thousand to 2000 uh, rooted clones uh, that are ready to sell, go right out the door. Um, so a lot, of, it's very low overhead, um, not a big electrical bill, because um, most of the clones are grown under fluorescent lights. Uh, but then again, it offers you uh, the opportunity to sell some ancillary products like pots and nutrients and uh, pH pens and PPM pens because um, best believe that not only are your customers going to be big uh, industrial growers uh, but also recreational growers that are going to probably struggle uh, with clones or are probably just not going to want to be bothered with it. Um, so it's a, I feel is a tremendous service um, and one that I would solicit if I was growing but I would Definitely not want to have to worry about cloning, you know, uh, you know, a tray full of cuttings and just waiting, you know, and hoping that they root 